Well, one of the big debates in Westminster this week has been around the future of the triple lock pension allowance, which of course states that pensions are to rise by whatever is highest in the year, earnings, inflation or 2.5% minimum by default. Um, Mel Stride, the Work and Pension Secretary, said that in the time of fiscal tightness that the triple lock pension allowance was unsustainable, um, while Rishi Sunak, when pressed by Stephen Flynn in PMQs, stated that it was the Conservatives that, of course, introduced the triple lock pension allowance in 2010. Um, and for the meantime, at least, they re remained fully committed to the triple lock. Jeremy Hunt, of course, pushed it out onto the airwaves, tested the waters by looking at using the earnings figure for the last month, which was 8.5%, and taking away the bonuses to calculate what the pension should be raised by. Removing the bonuses not only would save £600 million, um, by using a figure of 7.8% as opposed to 8.5%, but it would perhaps not exacerbate the generational inequality that we are seeing in the UK today. Raising the pensions uh, by 8.5% would cost the Treasury an extra £2 billion, um, pounds, and they, the pensions last year were raised by a whopping 10%, and that is at a time when doctors and nurses aren't even getting that pay rise. Um, and m much of the public sector is only getting about 6%. Um, and this is most, many pensions are actually quite well off. Um, and and, and there's, there's an argument that says, there's a counter argument that says um, you, ca you cannot scrap the pension increase because m many pensioners live in poverty. But during COVID, uh, there was a couple of years, I think two years where the triple lock was scrapped. Um, for one year it was scrapped entirely and the pensioners did not get a pay rise in line with inflation and the second year it was a much smaller pay rise underrating uh, the rate of inflation. Of course, this is also at a time when the UK has a chronic aging demographic, um, which as I said, has the potential to massively exacerbate the uh, inequality in um, or the, the age inequality in the UK. Um, typically, as I said, pensioners can be quite well off and of course, many of them have a property and so are not affected by rising inflation and uh, rising interest rates because they do not have to take out mortgages. But many of them actually, it's, it goes further than that because many of them have a, a, a well-endowed savers account, which of course, at a time of high interest rates, you can earn quite good savings um, on your money if it's in a savings account. Of course, both parties politically are scared to mess around with the triple lock. Um, Angela Rayner says the Tories must keep it, of course, but then clearly when she's asked about if Labour would keep it, she states they'll have to evaluate the position they're in fiscally when they uh, likely inherit government. And so both parties, as I said, are terrified to mess around with the pension because the silver vote is massive. Typically, pensioners have a much higher turnout than any other demo, uh, age demographic in the UK. And so the Tories in particular are massively fearful of losing their uh, silver vote, which put them into government in 2019, or helped put them into government in 2019. But a Sky News poll actually counters this and says, when the, el the elderly support cuts to their pension, if, if it helps uh, young relatives and young family uh, who, who, who are struggling.